Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox. And how many fingers do you have, kids? Uh, five? No, 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 no. Ten. Um, well, not all of you. Some of you may be missing a few or added a few, but that that's the minority. Um, so, let's go ahead and check out what will happen if we give to Earth the same amount of kilometers that the average person is fingers. Actually, the average person would have slightly less than 10 fingers, wouldn't it? They? Never mind. Let's let's ignore this and rounding issues. Uh, let's go straight into the experiment. We are going to make the radius of Earth 10 kilometers. Well, why 10 kilometers? Because that just seems absurdly small. It's kind of fun. Oh, oh, wow. We have cities on this asteroid. Ugh. Oh, boy. Okay, well that that's that was unexpected. I really didn't expect that one. Now I kind of screwed up, so we're gonna we're gonna do this a second time, all right? But that is hilarious. I didn't mean to make it into an asteroid. Right? I had to keep the mass the same, uh, which we can actually do with a little bit of magic. I wanted to spoon the spoon, spoon the moon. All right, now that we're done spooning the moon, let's go ahead and get Earth. Grab its radius, decrease it a time. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. Uh, once again, I screw it up, move that a tiny bit, lock the mass. Now we set the radius to 10 kilometers. Wow, I, I'm really having a bad time today. 10 kilometers. All right, wow. Okay, here is Earth, but 10 kilometers. Wow. Huh. You know, the oceans and stuff are gone because... I do not believe that the Earth can actually hold the liquid uh, properly because of the lack- Oh no, the mass is the same. Why is the ocean gone? Average surface temperature is fine as- I'm, I'm kind of confused. Uh, is it ice? Let's get a quick look at the water- Oh, it says there's water. Ice thickness? Uh, surface. What is the... I clicked surface. Now it's now it's just showing it on Earth. Uh, whoops. Uh, object realistic, and now we switch to surface. Okay, there we go. Uh, surface, ice thickness, positive infinity Milky Way. Ah. Yes, I love when I have positive infinity Milky Way ice thickness. That's a little bit odd. Okay, let's see what happens. So Earth is now no longer obviously has the moon orbiting. Oh wait, no it does because we didn't change the mass. Everything is pretty normal other than the fact that it's a tiny little Earth. Well, look at that tiny little Earth. Let's actually go ahead and put it a little bit closer. So let's put the moon kind of close because you know if it's tiny little Earth, oh, we, we, we can afford it. Okay, let's see. We're probably going to do this again while changing the mass. Oh no, it ripped the moon apart. Oh yes, because we didn't change the mass. Now there's a bunch of tiny moons. And tiny Earth is still looking pretty good. It's 400 degrees because it got hit by an asteroid, but... Wow. That is pretty, pretty fantastic. Okay, let's do this again. But this time, let's go ahead and... Put the moon... Okay, now let's put Earth down first. And how small can we make Earth without it turning into an asteroid? Good question. Let's try 0 0.01 Earth. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So we're at 296 kilometers now, right? Oh, but 29.6, so we gotta go... Uh, what the heck just happened there? All right, so we will try to get close. We'll get as close as we can, all right? So, following what we did last time, we can go to there, I believe, yes. Okay, this is safe. So we have tiny Earth. And it still kind of looks like Earth. Everything is pretty normal, um, except it is very tiny. Like, look how tiny it is compared to normal Earth. That is, that is ridiculous. All right, let's go ahead and get the moon. And this time, the moon is going to be orbited by the Earth. Auto orbit. Please don't rip the Earth apart. Please don't rip the Earth apart. Please don't rip the Earth apart. It's not ripping the Earth apart. 
Really? All right. Let's go ahead and check the temperature and if the tidal forces are exerting any uh, temperature change on Earth. All we got to do is do this, uh, and then we can just set it to object, and we can set that to temperature. Now we can see the temperature of Earth, and as it goes around the moon, it looks pretty average to me. Seems like Earth doesn't even really care. Actually, the temperature is really stable considering. Um, huh. Alright, I'm a big fan of this. Cool. I mean, everything else is pretty damn normal. I'm utterly shocked. I did not think this would be that normal. We are the go around the moon. I mean, this is not a normal sight. All right, let's see what happens if we shoot something at the moon, because that that's how we create entertainment. <laughs> By putting us in deadly situations. Here we go. Oh, damn, that hit hard. Oh boy, I did not mean to go that fast. Oh! Oh god, we can save Earth. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> uh, very quickly, just move Earth away from contact. Oh wow, it left a mark on the moon, but not on Earth. Not today, moon. Uh, auto orbit. Okay. It would appear that we escaped this with very little damage, even though we literally touched the surface of the moon. Oh, that would be so cool to see. Whoa, 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 wait. Surface of the Earth. I'm a big fan of the surface of the Earth. Ooh, we're in Africa. Let's look up. Oh my god, this is just what you see in the sky. Oh my god, there's just an ocean. Look at the water. That is kind of crazy. The water that was left on the moon is filling up all the cra Wow! Look at the view! That is absolutely insane. I- I'm- just- just for comparison's sake. Look at this! That is kind of whack. Alright. Let's put the Earth a little bit closer and see if we can get it to orbit for that aesthetic effect. It'll probably kill it, but I just, honestly, you know you want to have Earth survive this because this would be awesome. Look, oh my, the, the size, the size. That is, that is intimidating, I won't lie. I'm very intimidated by the moon. Okay, Earth, you can do it. Don't die, Earth, don't die. Oh my god, Earth hasn't died. Earth still hasn't died. We are still alive. <laughs> Imagine the nurse comes into the room every day, you're in the hospital. Oh, he's still alive. He's still alive. Damn, he's still alive. That's what they would say for me. We. Honestly, I'm really shocked at how well this is turning out. Um, not not expected in the slightest. I thought this would be deadly. I mean, to be fair, this would be pretty deadly, but we're, we're ignoring that fact because that just, that looks so awesome with the Earth and the Moon just chilling. Hey, the Moon's kind of drifting off, probably because we hit it with something. Let's see if we can give the moon a ring. Oh, 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 now we're getting fancy. Okay, let's go ahead and hit the plus. Go ahead and grab a ring, and let's get a Saturn ring. Saturn ring to moon. Oh, that is... The Earth is so close. I didn't even realize how close the Earth was. Oh my god, that is insane. Okay, let's modify the Saturn ring to be much closer. Um... Uh, zero point zero five to zero point one. Yo, that is still... <laughs> okay, let's see what happens. I wonder if the Earth will even affect it. I mean, 
The Earth is so tiny. Maybe the rings won't even care. Wow, I am actually highly impressed by this. All right, let's see if we can add another set of rings. My, my graphics card is like, please, please stop it. I can't do this much longer, man. 0 0.01 to 0 0.02. Wow! Okay, that is that is the closeness. Okay, a little bit laggy. A little bit laggy. Okay, can we just play it for a second? Yeah. Oh, now we can see the Earth. With the rings. Okay, that is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. We And the Earth is now flinging the ring apart. And getting hit by the ring a bit. Wow, this is beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and end this off with what will be Big Death. We're gonna shoot the original Earth at this system from very far away. OG Earth is pretty big compared to New Earth. All right. Oh God, did it rip Earth apart? Little Earth? Oh, this Earth is definitely trying to steal the rings. Little Earth, are you okay? I can see it. It's a little glowing dot over there. A little bit. Oh, the Rosh Limit ripped it apart. No! Oh, that's really sad. Tidal forces, man. Tidal forces. Oh, this is going to be a little bit sad. Our beautiful tiny little Earth versus Mega Chunk Earth. You never really respect the chunk of the Earth until you see it like this, kids. Here it goes. This Earth is actually getting pulled into the moon a little bit faster because it's getting pulled towards this Earth. Alright, the moon has strucketh. Will the moon get struck by the Earth? This Earth, because this one is slowing it down? Huh. I'm kinda curious what order this will go in. Okay, the moon hits first, obviously. But will this Earth hit the moon, or will it hit the Earth? Hmm, it seems like the moon isn't really slowing down. I expected it to slow down a bit from that collision, the absolutely massive collision, but it seems like it's actually speeding up. Alright, looks like Earth will be hitting Earth. Ooh! Painful. Real Earth is now, you know, a little bit beat up. Alright guys, thank you for watching, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Time to stream some Ace Attorney, because you should totally be watching that too.